Hello everyone, welcome back to another Doctor Who figure review. In today's Doctor Who figure review, kickstarting the year with our first Doctor Who figures for 2023, it is the regeneration set exclusive to character options online, which features a fun variant of the 13th Doctor and our first glimpse of the 14th Doctor in figure form. And I guess this is the only time we will get this definitive version of the 14th Doctor. So the way this review is going to work is I'm going to take a look at the packaging, do the articulation and detail and do a comparison to all these figures what they sort of used elements of like the comparing the boots and the celery and the jumper um, from the existing figures we have in the line and of course sort of doing a comparison to the David Tennant head sculpt from the 10th Doctor to this new 14th Doctor head sculpt. Um, so yeah, without further ado, if you like your Doctor Who figure related content and you're new around here then please do consider hitting the subscribe button because there's plenty more Doctor Who figure related content coming up in the near future such as a rearranging the Doctor Who figure collection. So without further ado, let's begin the Regeneration set review. What? Um, yeah, I don't think that's the packaging for the Regeneration set. I'm getting a bit of deja vu. There we go. So we have the Regeneration packaging, the first bit of Doctor Who merchandise I have with the sort of rebranded uh, look to it. Now we've got this nice sort of minimalist um, box with the diamond logo which has this nice sort of glossy effect and if you catch it in the light you can see sort of the sort of hexagon sort of giving that sort of tunnel effect with sort of lines there sort of give it like it's traveling which is a very nice we have the name of the set there the side with the sort of stacked version of the logo and on the back there we've got some legal guff there and the barcode but if we open it up we have a little bio on the 13th doctor there and a little bit on the 14th Doctor and a little bit on power of the Doctor itself. We have the great window box displaying the figures there so it is all very lovely and then the name of the set online exclusive. Um, but yeah that is very much the packaging, nice and simple. And we do have a card insert for this set so with this lovely sort of regeneration style vortex which really does sort of enhance the figures, it really makes them pop in the box. Kicking off this review with the 13th Doctor figure as seen sort of the Master Doctor costume where we see sort of various amalgamations of the Doctor costume combined with the 13th Doctor so it's a really nice little fun variant but before we take a look at the detail and a closer look at this figure let's take a look at the articulation. Articulation wise for the 13th Doctor figure the head can do a full 360 degree turn and of course is ball jointed so it can point up and down. The arms can do a full 360 degree turn, 360 at the bicep, bend at the elbow. Now the wrists do swivel but they are incredibly stiff so they can do it if you force it like so. Waist articulation you're not really going to get it because the jumper is such a sort of solid PVC piece it really restricts the movement of the lower half and sort of becomes a bit traffic cone-esque. The legs can slightly kick backwards and forwards but again are hindered by the jumper because of how solid this sort of PVC piece is and the legs can slightly bend and that is literally as far as a leg will want to bend. <laughs> Moving on to the detail for the 13th Doctor figure. Now I'm just going to point this little thing out. I will do a comparison to the other 13th Doctor figures in the line. But the head just feels very sort of loose on this 13th Doctor figure and it's just very easy to sort of pop off. I don't know if that's because of the new tooling on the neck and what sort of allowed this sort of problem to occur because the head just doesn't seem to sit right on the body personally on this version which is odd. It just looks a little bit awkward in places um, but yeah I don't know if that's because of a new tooling or what where it's sort of altered sort of the peg so it's made the head become a little bit more looser. Um, but still looks fine um, once you find the right pose for this version of the 30th Doctor because it's, it's fun, it's a nice fun little easter egg of a costume but if we take a look at the detail for the head sculpt I have to say that this is possibly the best sort of paint ups on a Jodie Whittaker figure the hair is done superbly, you can see sort of that nice sort of dark brown there and again to that sort of lighter blonde there and slight sort of wash over it to really highlight um, the hair to give it that sort of sense of depth and you can see sort of the texturing on the hair um, to show sort of the, the individual strands there which is done really nice and then we have the great likeness to Jodie Whittaker there with a nice little dimple uh, detail there and sadly the um, earring isn't painted on this version which is a shame because it was there on the sort of Dewan, uh, Dewan master costume because Dewan did have the, the earrings uh, but yeah, sad that that's not there, but still, you know, great paint ups of the 13th Doctor, you know, you can really see the sort of great sculpting detail and likeness to Jodie Whittaker. 
Now the costume, now this is where it becomes fun because we're stoked to fans love Easter eggs and this costume is just one big Easter egg, isn't it? Um, so I will compare it to the sort of original version of these costumes. So we have the 12th Doctor shirt there, um, which is done very nice. We have the 10th Doctor tie, which is all very cool. And we have the 5th Doctor salary, which is this very nice or vibrant green, which really does sort of stand out on this costume, um, which again, nice traditional sort of salary detail, what we've had on the 5th Doctor figure. If I bring in the 5th Doctor figure, you can see the difference in salary because these um, sort of bits of costume are all based off the Lavazzi uh, replicas, so that's all very cool um, if you're into cosplaying. Um, we have the 7th Doctor jumper, which has got this more sort of pastel blue finish to it, and again we have the nice detailing and texturing of that to give that a nice sort of knitted effect. And if I bring in the 7th Doctor figure, you can see the difference there. We have a sort of more of a greenish blue colour on the 7th Doctor jumper instead of the blue um, which is seen on the 13th Doctor. And of course we have the 4th Doctor scarf, which you know is iconic in its own right. And again, great detailing. This is all sort of a new sculpt. Um, and again, nice sort of detailing there of the tassels there. And again, we have the nice sort of knitted effect there to give that sort of knitted effect, which is all very lovely. Um, of course, if I bring in the fourth Doctor figure, you can see uh, the difference in the scarf there. So yeah, those are a little bit different. We're going to talk about the legs um, in a minute on the sort of boots side for the 11th Doctor. Um, but yeah, I believe that this is pretty much all new sculpt. I think even the legs possibly. Um, but yeah, it's great. So the arms have had a slight sort of update um, to them as again, we have this little bit of new tooling there with these sort of sleeves being rolled up to give that nice sort of line, sort of pink sort of uh, lilac finish to it to show the 13th Doctor's coat. And of course we have the 12th Doctor's shirt sort of cuffs poking up there, which is very cool. Maybe they could reuse this for um, a tattered uh, version of the 13th Doctor and the 12th Doctor clothes. That'd be really cool. And again, you can see the nice little button detail. Um, yeah, got a nice or traditional 13th Doctor coat there, the pocket sculpted there, the lines, the hood, to that nice little creasing effect to give it a lifelike effect. It's all done very well. And if we move down to the legs, which I will say on mine are slightly warped, as you can see. Um, they're slightly sort of been bent inwards, so they've sort of warped in the packaging, which is a shame, but it still stands um, fine. But yeah, I've got a nice little check motif on of the trousers, can't really uh, sort of see them that well because again it's hindered by the jumper, you can't lift it uh, to show, but yeah, nice. I believe that these legs are different to the 13th Doctor figure, they just, I don't know, it could be just be my eyes, but they seem different to what we have already in the 13th Doctor figure, um, but yeah, they do seem like they are new legs, but that could just be me. Um, but the boots are the Matt Smith boots, um, which are very nice, you can see the nice little lace detailing there. Um, again, if I bring in the Matt Smith figure from Toys R Us, you can see, there we go, we have the 11th Doctor boots there. Um, but yeah, really nice figure, really nice sort of detail um, for this figure. It's just a shame that some of the sort of building, uh, the sort of build of the figure is a little bit, lets it down ever so slightly, but still a nice little fun variant. So let's go on to the comparison of the 13th Doctor figure. So here we have the 13th Doctor variant lineup. So we've got the original one from 2018, the one from the 2020 wave, the US exclusive, and the one from B&M, and of course, the regeneration set. So if we take a look at the original one, you can see what I mean by how the paint apps have improved on the hair, because yeah, that just seems completely off to what we get. So this looks more realistic on the regeneration, um, figure one as you can see a lot better in terms of the hair sculpt um, there which is all very cool and I think the coat is a slightly darker blue compared to the other 13th Doctor figure you can see that it is a slightly darker blue to what we normally have on the other 13th Doctor figures and this is what I mean by how the paint apps have improved because if I bring in the US exclusive look at them eyes they are some boogly eyes there uh, you can see um, yeah but yeah, you can see how the paint apps have become a lot more refined and crisp as the 13th Doctor figure has gone on. So yeah, this I think is the definitive head sculpt for the 13th Doctor. You can see uh, the differences there in the costume. So yeah, really nice uh, line to see. And you know, great figure to have. But I still think the Flux one is my favourite version of the 13th Doctor. 
Moving on to the 14th Doctor, David Tennant. This is getting a bit deja vu, having a new David Tennant figure with ball-jointed arms. Um, so yeah, this is probably the star of the show for many people because it's our first you know, chance to own a 14th Doctor figure. And like I say, this is the definitive outfit for the 14th Doctor. So let's take a look at the articulation and then the detail and then a look, quick little comparison to the other David Tennant figures, just for fun, really. Articulation-wise for the 14th Doctor, the head can move side to side. The arms are ball-jointed, so that's really nice. And the arms can do a full 360-degree turn. We do have 360 at the bicep, but it's incredibly stiff bend at the elbow and of course we do have wrist articulation as well we can do a full 360 we do have waist articulation but again is sort of hindered by the coat and we have the traditional David Tennant legs which can kick out ever so slightly and of course bend at the knee so that is the articulation for the 14th Doctor. Take a look at the detail for the 14th Doctor figure so yes this figure has caused a bit of contention especially the likeness i don't think the online photos did this figure any justice and having it in hand you really can see that you know from certain angles you do get david Tennant, and i think that it's a figure that certainly does look better in person so if we take a look at the detail so the hair is done very nice you've got this sort of painted brown and a slight sort of ginger sort of highlights over there to highlight the sculpting of the hair there you can see the sort of detailing of sort of the individual strands of hair it's all done very nice you can see sort of how the hair sort of has been cut there you can see sort of how it sort of fades in to the back which is done very nice you can see the, all the lovely detail and that sort of orangey sort of ginger wash is the 14th doctor finally ginger um, you know that's sort of quite a nice sort of thing to really sort of add sort of a sense of depth and texture uh, to this figure the sideburns have this lovely nice or sort of grey wash to show that sort of aging and you can see sort of the aging of David Tennant there with sort of how the sort of skin's sagging around uh, the neck which is done very nicely I do think the paint apps are a little bit heavy in places because you do miss some of sort of the finer details of the sculpt um, but you, know, you can see sort of the lines there on the face there especially on the jawline it's all done uh, very nice but I do think you are missing sort of the finer detailing on the forehead because the scan of this figure you can really see how good the scans are for character options and sadly I think because the paint apps are a little bit heavy in places you do miss some of, some of the finer details um, what these figures do offer but if we move down to the costume this is done a very nice got the nice sort of vibrant white shirt which has a sort of nice creasing underneath the tie which is done a very nice the tie itself um, we've got a sort of sort of a dark grey a sort of base coat and then a slight sort of wash of other greys and blacks to give that sort of knitted texture um, which is done very nice and if we move the coat back we can see the costume itself so we've got the waistcoat there with the lovely tartan design of the blue and brown there which is done very nice and of course we have the pocket sculpted there um, it's just done very nice really it's a really nice sort of amalgamation of the Tenth Doctor sort of suits isn't it that sort of tartan with sort of the brown and the blue and of course we have the traditional um, David Tennant legs there which has done very nice who would have thought it would see these legs back in 2023 on a new um, Doctor really um, and David Tennant yet again it's all very great so yeah you can see the nice little tartan detailing there but the coat is a wonderful thing about this figure um, because it has this lovely sort of textured detailing um, feel to much like the Matt Smith tweed jacket and I think this sort of, sort of texture detail gives that sort of nice sort of woolen effect to it which is done very nice so we've got sort of this base sort of dark blue and then the figure ever so slightly has been given sort of a sort of dry brush of a lighter blue to give that sort of more sort of enhance the sort of texture detail you can see there on the back and ever so slightly on the arms of that sort of slight sort of dry brushing of blue to really highlight sort of the the mottled effect as it were on the coat which is done very nice again you can see that nice sort of texture detailing along there on the lapels. Got the buttons painted there black, which really do um, pop against it. And of course, we do have the pocket sculpted on both sides. And again, you can see sort of that dry brushing of blue there, um, which again, really nice de attention to detail on this. And of course, we have the lovely creasing on the sort of cuffs of the jacket. And I have given it the, um, the 13th Doctor Sonic screwdriver because he does use it. In his first story, Liberation of the Daleks and the Doctor Who magazine uh, comic, and it just makes a figure pop until we actually get the 14th Doctor Sonic. Um, I will probably display him 
uh, with this and of course the Sonic isn't um, emitted this time it's just um, cast and molded in the silver um, which is a bit of a shame but I guess it's a nice little variant in a way um, so you can have a, the Sonic um, not admitting anything and I will say the hand is a little bit <laughs> loose on mine I don't know if it's because um, how it's been molded it doesn't quite fit in the hand that well um, but if I just poke the hand out ever so slightly like so it sort of solves the issue so it doesn't become as loose um, but yeah again really nice texturing on the coat that is real the sort of standout thing for this figure and of course we have the traditional detailing for the 10th Doctor legs and of course we have the converse which are slightly inaccurate because we have this blue line um, which should be black because the actual converse have a black line instead of blue but I guess that's sort of, sort of break it up from uh, the actual suit trousers but yeah that is the detail for the 14th Doctor figure very nice figure just for fun I thought I'd throw in all the David Tennant head sculpts we've had in the character options line so we've got the end of time head sculpt the original 10th Doctor head the 14th Doctor the 42 10th Doctor then the tuxedo and then the Satan pit one now I will say in terms of head sculpt I think it's very similar to the tuxedo 10th Doctor in a way it sort of gives me that sort of same feel um, to the way they sort of try to sculpt the sort of the pointed sort of quiff um, of this figure so yeah you can see how the sort of David Tennant head sculpts have changed over the years. So there we have it that is my review of the character options online regeneration set featuring the master doctor costume variant of the 13th doctor and the new 14th doctor figure so what do I make of this set overall well I really do like it, I think that this is a nice or fun set and I think that it's definitely one you should have in your collection because regeneration figures, even though this isn't the atypical regeneration set where we have a Doctor in the previous incarnation clothes, it still makes for a nice or fun little oddity to have this version of the 13th Doctor and to have the definitive costume of the 14th Doctor because this is your only way you're able to get the 14th Doctor in this costume and this is his main look. Um, for the series, um, I'm sure we'll get a jacketless version at some at some point in the future. But if you want a definitive 14th Doctor figure, then this is your way of getting it. And I have to say that it's a really nice set. The 13th Doctor figure, despite sort of the build issues I have with the figure, you can see sort of how the legs are slightly warped and sort of the head um, sort of not really sort of being that right on the body. But I don't know if that's down to new tooling or just my uh, version in general still really nice version of the 13th doctor figure to have but the main star of the set obviously is the 14th doctor figure because you know it's a new doctor to add to our doctor lineup on the shelf so yeah that is very much my review of the regeneration set if you've enjoyed this video then please do like and subscribe because it really helps the channel out and we can build a nice community of talk to figure people which is all lovely so thank you very much for watching this video and i'll see you next time for more talk to figure related videos in the near future so thank you very much and goodbye